stay tuned to check out the lost bread. So here we have the lost bread, aka French bread. How did it get its name? Stay tuned and find out. Good morning, folks. Cowboy here. Today we're going to be making some, what some people call, French bread. But where did it really get its name? In France, they call it lost bread. That's the translation. The French term is P-A-I-N, then P-E-R-U. And I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so we're just going to call it lost bread. Some say it came from England. Others say that there was a man by the name of Joseph French who made the bread first here in America. And when he named it, he left the apostrophe S off, and it was named French bread. But it's baked around the world, cooked, fried, in many different places, called many different names. So, let's get to it, and I'll show you the ingredients. So, here we go. We're going to have two teaspoons of cinnamon, not quite a teaspoon of nutmeg. We're going to have some orange zest, about a quarter of a teaspoon, four eggs, two-thirds of a cup of whole milk, a splash of vanilla, and the secret ingredient, a little Grand Marnier, about a quarter cup of it. We'll mix the dry ingredients first, then we'll mix the egg and the milk and the Grand Marnier. And then put those together. I'm going to use a brioche or brioche bread. Soak that and then put it in the frying pan with a little butter. And voila, we have French toast. As or the French say, lost bread. So I'll show you how I got my fresh nutmeg. You just take it, take the little nut, and just grate it a little, and there it falls. Cool little device. So let's put in the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Zest. Got my little bitty Give that a little stir. Now let's add the eggs. Now the reason that the French called it lost bread is that they took old bread that was going stale and instead of throwing it out, they would use it and soak it in a mixture like this to make a delicious dessert. The French use it as a dessert, but most of the other parts of the world like to use it as breakfast. So we'll add the other ingredients, be back shortly. There is our end product of what we're gonna soak the bread in. Now we'll put this into a much shallower bowl so that we can soak the bread easier. And yes, we will have a little burnt bacon served on the side. Okay, as you can see, I'm melting some butter. And I took a little cake pan and poured my mixture in. And now, we are going to soak the bread. And we're going to 
gonna let that soak for just a second. And then I'm gonna flip it. Let that better melt really good. this up and let it drain and in it goes so we'll let that brown on each side and we will be back shortly. As you can see, beginning to brown. Wish you could smell through the foam. Alrighty, I hope that you enjoyed that little video. And now, we come down to the complete, complete finished product. Look how beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. A couple pieces of bacon, some fresh fruit. Let's give it a try. And some maple syrup. Yeah. Mm. All those wonderful flavors. That's right. I'm hungry. Let's eat. I'll see you. I'm down the trail.